T4 wormhole geometry. In this next section, we will be discussing how to create a wormhole. There is much discussion in the modern scientific journals about how to establish an open portal using quantum entanglement and action at a distance, and much speculation about how to increase and control the diameter of the wormhole using exotic matter such as strange quarks or possibly antimatter particles. This diagram depicts the standard model by astrophysicist John Gribben. While there remains much discussion about the time tunnel portion of the equation itself, shown here on the left half of this coffee table. There is little consideration for the cause for the equally drastic warping to the surface fabric of the continuum on the right side. In this diagram, I offer the premise that a black hole operating at a roughly right angle from the time tunnel itself could affect the drastic warping of space-time on both sides to form the time tunnel on one side and the 180 degree bending of the surface fabric of the space-time continuum on the other. T4 wormhole mathematics. In this model, I am depicting the entry vectors necessary to penetrate from between the blue arc representing an event horizon in motion to the centroid in the lower left corner representing the conjunction of the combined motion of the exterior surface of the event horizon in blue and interior trajectory of a tangential wormhole within the black hole in red and the law of infinitely repeating halves in a mnemonic pattern of expansion contraction that inverts the dead space within a black hole to the baby universe within its core singularity. These are the extrapolated sets of trajectories for motions possible on the previous model. We see the blue line represents the event horizon, the red arc the tangential wormhole, the green arrow the path to or from the singularity, and the black line the motion of an object outside but relative to the gravity exerted by the event horizon. Those models calculate the mathematical trajectories for entering a black hole. The following diagrams represent the mathematical trajectories for navigating any wormhole. Here we see a square, each of the corners of which exerts a pole affecting the trajectory of any object passed from one corner to another along its surface. Here what we are seeing is the individual trajectories given all overlapping in the previous diagram, here exploded schematically to each be viewable individually. Here we can see the above left combines the two on the left below it, while the upper right combines the models below it on the right. Each trajectory is plotted with a different origin and destination pair, and thus each has its own pattern of path. T4 Cosmology in this diagram, along a file to the right, we see the now familiar set of four space manifolds that represent time. We see then on the left that each of these four space manifold shapes corresponds to one of the elemental forces in our local universe. Also, in a progression of decreasing complexity following the inverse square law outward from the Big Bang, depicted in the upper left corner of the matrix. In this model, we see the manner these now also elementally attributed four manifold shapes correspond to the geometric gnomon discussed initially in the second section. The gnomon in this diagram thus traces the division of the four elemental forces prior to the first Planck time following the Big Bang. T4 Conclusions and Findings The most basic initial premise for the geometries of the T4 models is depicted here. We see time labeled T conserved around and about three axes of direction labeled X, Y, Z. The meaning of this diagram is that T surrounds the three dimensions as well as permeates them throughout. Below C, the speed of light space-time operates in the direction past to future, but above C, faster than photons, time-space operates in the direction future to past. Here again we see the trefoil on the right labeled according to the shadow it casts on the left. These labels and the outline of the trefoil's shadow are the initial T4 premise depicted. Here is the final depiction of the T4 model for time travel. We see time-space above and space-time below may be between their layers, able to be warped and twisted, allowing a body to be carried along a pathway around opposite the standard temporal current without violating the natural laws of physics at play. This is the essence of the elsewhere drawn out rolling boil diagram for the surface of the continuum. In this final diagram of the set, we see the central three spheres represent from top to bottom, past, present, future, but that the pole but beyond the lowest inner sphere of future is past, and likewise that the pole beyond the highest sphere, that of past, is future. 
So we see there are larger cycles and smaller cycles that operate relative and can even be reversed to one another.